The message is the reality of hell. The reality of hell is not made by nose. It is the one nose that is on here. Hell is a real place. It's a scary place to be. So people today are not believe in hell. It's actually a real place. For just a language state of existence. Hell is a place of punishment and torment. In Revelation 20, verse 14 to 15, says, It's been a lake of fire. Revelation 21, verse 8 says, It is a very lake of body suffering. Hell is rich and every place. So don't go there, my dear friend. If anyone goes there, they go there by their own default. One of the reasons why people don't scare about hell is this they believe they are not going there the reality however is found in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 for all have sinned and forced to the glory of God that what all is suffering it means there is no exception every one of us have missed the mark one way or the other we have sinned against the law of God and we know no sinners will go to heaven. Hell is a place reserved for devil and the demons. So don't go there. It's a real place. God don't want you to go there. And that's why today you must take heed to this message. The Bible reminds us in Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. It's through Christ Jesus, our Lord. The gift of salvation is offered to all. But not all will benefit from it. Some will reject that gift. That gift is available for you today. When you reject the gift of God, there's nothing left for you, my dear friend, but hell await you. The Bible tells us in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, that God does not want anyone to perish, but to all to come to repentance. God is in love suffering, waiting for you to be to repent for your sins, that you may have eternal life in the Son Jesus Christ. Why God have to send his son to die? Is because he loves you. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. When we are assisting us, Christ died for us. God is love. So really, if you resent the love of God, Jesus, you will perish in your sins. The Bible tells us in John chapter 3, verse 16 to 18, God so loved the world. God loves you, but God has sinned. The Bible says, who does not be the son of God is condemned already. You condemn yourself for not believing in Jesus Christ. When people go to hell, they go to hell because they reject the love of God, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, He's the only way to God. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except by Him. For you to go to heaven, you must go the way of Jesus. No other way. Any man, any woman be saved outside Jesus Christ. And that's why today we are telling you, don't go to hell by rejecting Jesus. If you want to go to heaven, you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. If you don't know Jesus, you can know him today. And simply make a prayer like this. Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. I deserve hell. I deserve it. But I believe. But I believe. That you're son of God. That you're son of God. That you shed your blood on the cross. That you shed your blood on the cross. For my sins. For my sins. Today. Today. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord. As my Lord. I'm personal savior. I'm personal savior. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. I guarantee you, He will save you for an eternity. 
Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, amen.